live from San Diego Comic-Con 2015, brought to you by Marvel Future Fight from NetMarvel. I'm Lorraine Sink, host and writer of Marvel's The Watcher, and I'm joined by this guy. Blake Garris, and we have some uh, multiple offenders to the Marvel interview. Is that, is that the right? That's I think terrible. So, yeah. <laughs> Introduce yourself. I don't know. How, I, how well did the interviews go last time that we're offenders? Uh, I'm yeah. so... I'm sick of you guys that you just introduced yourselves. You, I like. You're new. Yeah, yeah. Um, thank you. I, I'll, I'll introduce myself first, since I'm not offending anybody, I don't think. <laughs> not uh, yet. Not, well, let's we'll see how it goes. I'm Aaron Ginsberg, and I have for 10 years directed the thrilling Adventure Hour with uh, these two guys and many other people. Yeah. I'm Hal Lublin. I'm six foot of heartbreaking fury, and I'm one of the <laughs> cast members from the Thrilly Adventure Hour. I'm Mark Gagliardi, and I am five foot nine. <laughs> But I'm also in the thrilling adventure hour. You hear that, Loblin? I'm coming for you. <laughs> right here. Wait, oh, yo, why are you looking over there? I don't know. I just not in that camera. I would do are the... you guys going to wrestle for That's what it felt a like. thrilling adventure domination? We're going to have a future fight. It's a future yeah. fight of voice future acting. <laughs> so tell us what, what you guys are here for this weekend. Besides Hal, who's just a big nerd. Yeah. Um, I'm here getting uh, I'm getting more tape for my glasses <laughs> and a Aww. new bionator. A, a pocket protector, maybe? Pocket protector. Mm -hmm. yep. There's that. There's that inhaler store yeah. right down there. <laughs> Actually, uh, Mark and I are, uh, we've started a podcast of our yes, own. Yeah. We have. Uh, we're doing a live uh, recording of it tomorrow as part of FanFest. Can I go? In a, yes, yeah, you can, can go. go. What what are you, are you, I listen to the podcast. 2.15 really? yeah, yeah, yeah. tomorrow. Good. It's 2.15 tomorrow. I, I want to go too. You can, can go too. Yes. How yeah. do you handle, like, we got to talk about thrilling, obviously. Yes. How, how do you, like, decide on what you, like, battle like, like against each other with Twitter like, yeah uh, people, people tweet yeah. ideas for the show so the show for those that don't know is Hal and I give the definitive answer to pointless debates yes <laughs> uh, our first episode was should you put ketchup on a hot dog which you should not as never. Blake knows don't now never do it. It's, it's, that's, that's what one like, is, is no ketchup <laughs> yes I see no ketchup. Never ketchup when I first like heard it because we we're friends I was like this is the stupidest thing ever <laughs> and then I'm like I'm gonna listen to it just to see how stupid it is and then like 40 minutes into this ketchup debate I'm like huh I like this <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it hooks you you know that's right well, thank you. Yes, um, we appreciate so, it. So tell us, what's going on with, with, with Thrilling right now? I know it's like a uh, bittersweet time, but... Um, it is. It still shows. Our, we're still doing shows. We have a few live shows still coming up, out. but uh, the, the monthly Largo show that we did for for many years, five years at Largo and five years before that at another place, is now is now officially closed. Oh, We've wow. closed yeah. up shop. Yeah. So we have shows coming up in the fall uh, in New York. Yes. And then a few others here and there. There's an L.A. show in September. We're doing that show on, on the moon. That yep, it's going to be, yep. be pretty exciting. You SpaceX pretty excited. Yeah. is doing a thing. You also went to some other faraway places that were on this planet, right? Yeah, we you did. were in like New Zealand. Yes. We just got back from Australia and New Zealand. Yeah. Uh, did you do Hobbit stuff? We did. We went to <laughs> Hobbiton. Yeah. And we uh, and we all. You went also visited the, the Hobbit, the, the like the Hobbiton. What, the, in what addition to doing Hobbit stuff, which we yeah. all know is snacking, snacking, yeah. eating extra meals. We did have second breakfast every morning. Smoking, wandering, wandering on mountaintops. It was super fun. Actually, my the thing I got most excited about, I had to take a screenshot on my phone. Uh, my girlfriend and I drove up through uh, this national park, and it was where they had filmed Mordor and Mount Doom. Oh, so I nice. looked down at the ma at the Google Maps on my phone, and Mordor was a pinpoint oh, no. on the map. Oh my god! Uh, and that made me very excited. I thought yeah. if they had that, Lord of the Rings would have been much shorter. Yeah. And you immediately threw every piece of jewelry you had in there just to be safe. Just to yeah. be safe. Yeah. 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 I know uh, you go to these these cons a lot, and I know like the fans just keep starting to cosplay as characters more and more. Have you seen anything as of yet this weekend? We haven't seen any uh, cosplay from Thrilling Adventure yet, or I haven't. Well, I haven't either. It's been yeah. so crazy today. I feel like I walk in here, my eyes glaze over. There's so many yeah. things popping in. The, you know, it's like oh, a lot of T-shirts, a lot of Thrilling Adventure uh, T-shirts cool. and uh, pins and stuff like that. So definitely, there's a presence it, here. Yeah. It was fun. I remember we were at a con together. In, in Minnesota, Minnesota. Yes. and like we're just walking around together, looking at the con, and he sees somebody dressed as your character, or like, oh, oh, you this know, what's a different. It was, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was another, it was another well, fake radio podcast. Welcome to Night Vale. Welcome to Night Vale. But oh, still, yeah. though, like he comes up to whispers to him, like, "Hey, I'm the voice of that," or what? Yeah, Tell yeah. The story. Oh, well, whenever I see a fan from either show, if they don't know who I am, I will take a picture with them and then tell them who I am afterwards. I used to not tell them and just post it, but I'll tell them and then they will they'll have whatever reaction because they're excited that somebody from the show is nearby. Right. Um, 
so it's fun. And Blake got to see that. That was so awesome. Weird roller coaster ride it's, I put people it on. It always like the feeling was they were really creeped out at first, and then they were elated immediately. Yes. So that how so has that power yeah. on people? Yeah. Well, you know, you play like, you play Steve Carlsberg, who is a uh, a much derided character yes. on the show. So I imagine that some people you say I'm Steve Carlsberg, just punch you in the face. Well, I give off that musk that makes people want to punch me in the face anyway. <laughs> We should take a step back really quickly because we're super fans of you guys and we talk to you all the time and we love you guys. We love but, you. Aw, yeah. guys. I'm more, I don't know why I'm Bieber Harding. I'm, I apologize. But <laughs> it for, for those of you out there who don't know what Thrilling Adventure is, explain yes. it because it's the best. If they don't know, and they got a lot of work to do, right? Yeah, yeah. They have a lot like of 300 episodes. episodes. Yeah, yeah. First, first thing, go to Apple, go to yeah. iTunes, Apple Music, whatever it's called now. Uh, no, it's a live uh, radio show that we perf we did for many years, performed live and recorded as a podcast, where these fine actors and many others, uh, who you probably know, Nathan Fillion, um, who else? Who, like, Weird Molly Al, Quinn, Joseph Weird Gordon Al, Levitt, yeah. Yeah. Joe Mantegna, Emily Blunt, Joe Mantegna, mm -hmm. uh, Padgett Brewster, Paul Tompkins. They're they are regular yeah. cast. Regular. Those days, we had so many great people, but we would re record it as podcast. But it is a live show that you used to be able to see uh, in a theater in Los Angeles. Yeah, and there's still episodes being podcast out, new stuff. Yep. So it's it's worth going back and listening because they it's serialized. So. Uh, it's a it's a series of short segments. So whatever you're into, if you like westerns or horror or sci-fi, they've got a ton of great stuff. And and the writers Ben and Ben, who I'm sure you're talking to shortly, they do a great job of lampooning different genres while also treating them with respect. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So it's really great to listen. And yeah, speaking of the like celebrity guests who always come by, like that's one of the big things that I'm sure bring new fans to the show. Yeah. I mean, like, you, like I always mention, you always have Dick Cavett on the show. Which is Yes, one time. in New York. Um, we had Dick Cavett and he moonwalked. He moonwalked, yeah. He moonwalked, yeah. 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 <laughs> Dick Cavett <laughs> moonwalked in our show. Who has yeah. been the, besides Dick Cavett, obviously, who has been, like, probably not the strangest, but, like, I'm like, wow, like, have you ever been, like, starstruck? We had maybe? George Wentz one time, and oh, I was... Oh, Cheers? Yeah, yeah, and I was, like, we in rehearsal, we were, like, we're working through it, and he kind of seemed like, uh, he's, like, not into it that much. And the minute with the show started... He was spectacular. It was oh, yeah. like it was. It was like, oh, this guy is so good. But that was. I was kind of starstruck by That's by awesome. George Wynn. I, I would go with a guy who came in who I already was a big fan of his work, and then Ooh. he went on to win an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor in Whiplash. Ooh. J.K. Simmons. J.K. Simmons. 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 That's right. He sang on our stage. Yes. And is a Broadway right. guy. He was in Guys yeah. and Dolls and a bunch of other shows. He made it look and so great. easy. Yeah. Oh my God. Just like total professional, very pleasant, and then gets on stage and is a virtuoso. Great. We had one episode that I loved. It was uh, we were rehearsing at Nerd Melt. It's a comic book shop in LA, and uh, backstage there's a back room where we all rehearsed. And that particular episode, we had uh, Chris Hardwick, and we had uh, uh, um, the girl that played Amy Pond, uh, Karen Gill. Karen Gill. Thank you. She's and we Nebula had, in our movie. And yes. Nebula. Yeah. Nebula. Yeah. And we oh, had uh, and we had Weird Al. So it was that trio. Yeah. Uh, and That's we like finished. Nerd magic. We finished <laughs> rehearsal and we all started to leave and they started to go and I think it was Blacker that stopped and went. Hang on, we need to stagger your exits. Yeah. <laughs> because if somebody is in a comic book shop and sees Amy Pond, Weird Al, and the Nerdist walk out of a back room, their heads are yeah. gonna explode. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Wait, so I have a real question for you, Aaron. You work with all of these comedians. Yes. All of these guys. Yeah, for many years. What are they like to wrangle? Is that hard? Are they having too much fun? Well, uh, it's actually pretty easy. You know, it's like we're a giant family, so it's actually incredibly easy and really fun. Like, it's, it's a, uh, I look forward to it all the time. There's definitely times when, when things get out of control, for sure. <laughs> um, but like, at the end of the day, it's still the best job in the world. So like, it's not terrible, like at any moment. Um, I don't I think we've never had any any like real drama. Well, I think as as, <laughs> it's like, as the family that we are, yeah, it's, it's like it's, it's there's 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 no need for politeness. So that's like true. backstage, I, I if we're getting loud, Aaron will come by yeah. and be like, "Hey, dummies, yeah. shut up! The show's happening." Yeah, that's and true. That's he's true. A, he's a great director and a great human being, so we all respect him that's, so yeah. much that it's not like. All right, whatever you told me to do, jerk. Yeah. I'm just going to stand over here instead. It's also nice to have someone that when you have a new actor come in who, who's like, what the hell is this insane <laughs> yeah. thing I'm doing? You're, you're like, it's okay. You're going to be all right. Just, you know, stand on stage with these people and you're going to look good. So, How's yeah. the, What's it like with the, the process of, like, you're New York, you're L.A., you're... L.A. LA. How do you... I mean, and all these other 
people and in different cities. How yeah. do you even juggle all this stuff? It's just gotta be the when we did the show, people, well, Mark would fly in yeah. for the show from New York, mm -hmm. and anyone else, they would be there. We'd have one rehearsal, usually hours before the, yeah. the actual live show. That's it. Well, it then, used to be we would have like a couple of rehearsals yeah, in the week in the leading up to yeah. the yeah. show. Remember when we used to have multiple rehearsals? Yeah. Well, then it became yeah, we would have one. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> and then it became like just get there at five instead of seven. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, all right. I, every time I go to your shows and I see you in the suits, like I can't, I can't wear a suit. If I brought a suit to another city, I just, I, I that's the thing I'm most Dude, wild flying, about. Dude, flying back and forth yeah. for a year, yeah. flying with a suit is tough. That's Can the I tell worst you the part. trick? Traveling with the suits. I need this trick. Here's a trick. Here's a great trick. Get a giant Ziploc bag. Put a suit in a giant, fold it up just what? right in a giant Ziploc bag, and then get as much air in that bag as you can. That's true. Oh. So yes. that it doesn't get what? smushed. White Packs has it. Why have you, after all these years, yeah. you're just telling me this now? Yeah. You didn't yes. know you were going to get fashion life hacks no. on this show, but right. you Amazing. are. You guys, please oh. tell us all your Twitters, where oh, we yeah. can find you. My Twitters? Uh, I'm uh, at Dr. Lawyer Cop. Uh, I'm at Hal Lublin, and if you want to find our schedule, because we've got a bunch more oh, stuff. Oh, yes, that's right. Thrilly Adventure Hour, Nerdist Writers Panel, uh, all sorts of fun stuff. Go to thrillingadventurehour.com. That's where all the info is. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, and let's talk about the, the mention the podcast again and what everyone else is working on now. Uh, yes, Hal and I have our podcast, yes. We Got This, um, and you can find us on Twitter at We Got This Tweets. Yes, that's awesome. Um, and uh, yeah. I write and produce a show called The Hundred, so if you don't watch it, start. It's on CW. Yes. And I want to do, I always have to do this, let's put this down a little, now, do the voice. Oh. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Spider-Man! <laughs> I'm taking all of this with me. <laughs> yeah, you that was really good. good. That's a you great, you did a great Come Joker. On. Thank you so what? much for joining us. We're going to be back with even more coming up on Marvel Live. We're brought to you by Marvel Future Fight oh, from Net Marvel. And this is Marvel, your universe.